now we get into some of my weirder plants. This is a Chinese elm that I did in the Cascade style. I don't remember if I did any root pruning last year, but we'll check on that. But I did wire, and I did neglect the wire, so I am dealing with the beginnings of, well, some of it's more than the beginnings of wire scarring. So where I can, I will cut the wire out. Where I can't, I'll have to unwind it very carefully. Not sure I need all these branches, so I'll probably be pruning off a number of them, especially the stuff that's going off in directions that I'm not interested in. Now the tree ends here, and this section is is dried out and dead and has been for a couple seasons. Question becomes, do I want to do anything with that? Perhaps clean it up, turn it into a gin, or do I want to remove it and replace it with a different branch? I'm not sure. Those look like flowers. This was next to uh, an azalea, so it doesn't surprise me that there's some azalea flowers floating around. All right, so now my instructor was not a fan of cascades. He felt they were too dramatic and were too emotionally draining. I personally don't have that feeling. I think cascades are a lot of fun and they're a challenge, especially when you're working with a tree that has an upright growth habit. So to me that is more fun than cascading something that already wants to cascade. Now the other thing that my teacher's teacher, Yuji Yoshimura, used to say, at least according to my instructor, was that your cascade should not uh, come in front of the line of the container and I don't share that philosophy my instructor didn't share it so I have no problem with the tree breaking the line of the container as he used to phrase it so I have no problem with it question is do I have a use or a need for that one coming up. I don't think so. It's been bothering me for a while. Not sure where this is going to go. Not sure I'm going to keep it. So I did some wiring down here. And you can see the little branches that I wired. I'm not feeling, I don't know why I wired it, don't know why I kept it. I'm not feeling any love for it. I probably kept it because that piece didn't survive, but I'm not liking, I'm just not liking it. It's probably more realistic what would happen to a tree that's clinging to life on the side of a cliff. I'm just not just not feeling it. Alright. This is a mess. 
That's a mess. Clean that up. Shorten him. Still don't know what I'm going to do down there. I think I want to get rid of this this weird one down there. Don't know that he's bringing anything to the party. He's definitely kind of funky. So, let's see if we can get in here and eliminate him without destroying the rest of the branches. So I like that better. I like that little twig. I like that little twig. This one here is in a reasonable spot. Just has too much. And we'll need to remove the wire that's starting to be enveloped by the tree. Sure. That's that's dried out. I don't feel like playing around with him. Alright. So now I'm gonna work my way up. Another level. I like that curve. It's kind of kind of cute. These little sprouts shooting straight up I don't need keep that thin one down there take him back now I have this mess in the back here so part of me wants to get rid of it completely part of me wants to reduce it and keep it to create a layer of depth back here so that's what I'm doing. And then that brings me down to the very bottom where I haven't made up my mind yet what I want to do. But what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I like that line. I like that. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. That dead part I might be talked into ginning it up. Ha 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 ha! That was funny, ginning it up. Uh, thinking I need to wire that down. But the question is do I want to scrape away the bark down here? and make this into a gin. I'm not even sure you can call it a gin when it's that low on a tree. Alright. So, running out of battery. It's getting cold in here. So, I'm going to finish this off camera. So, Remember, this is the part where I'm supposed to say like, subscribe, questions, comments, and then 
really, you do what you want to do, but then get out as soon as the weather's good, work on your trees. So off camera, I'll probably gin that up, and then I will check the roots and put them back, back in the pot and back on the shelf. So enjoy yourself, go work on your trees.